Ever since I was a kid, I've been obsessed with creating things. I didn't know what business was, but by the age of 14, I was running multiple businesses and making tens of thousands of pounds every single month. I've come to learn that believing that you can do something is an integral part of actually being able to. Having the skills, experience, talent aren't required because all of those things can be learned. But in order to learn, in order to even start, you have to believe that you can, even when everybody and everything, and in my case, my mum, is telling you that you shouldn't. You can't be realistic when it comes to deciding on your dreams. Dreams are meant to be unrealistic, scary, uncomfortable. And forging your own path is the only way to be great. All of your idols didn't follow in the footsteps of their heroes. There was no Bill Gates for Bill Gates to emulate. Visionaries are to be admired, not imitated. Trying to be someone else is a surefire way of becoming nobody at all. And only great person you can be is the greatest version of yourself. And after all, that's a pretty great person. You will be defined by your hustle, your people skills, the sum total of how good of a human being you are. You'll be defined by you. And when I look back on the moments that define me creatively, there's a clear and consistent pattern. In those moments, I was brave enough to ignore convention and focus first, on the things that I knew to be true right now, and I logically reasoned up from there. Through my life, convention tried to lead me astray. And unfortunately, in my industry, people are led astray, and people do things because that's how it's always been done, and because it takes less energy to go against the grain and to ultimately innovate. Forcing yourself to look at the most fundamental facts of a situation can help you develop your own perspective on how to solve problems rather than defaulting to the way the rest of the world is thinking. In the future, it belongs to the curious, the rebels, and the future belongs to the brave. And so you have to ask yourself, does the future belong to you? The future is yours, make it.